Friday night, Julia's job is to compare the grocery prices of our neighborhood stores for Saturday morning shopping. When that matter's settled, I figure maybe I can get in a little reading before it's time to go to bed. That is, after the radio's turned down a little. The evening papers. And now it's my time to relax. Just the wind-up of a typical work day in my life. Today is Saturday, my work-at-home day. There's always a million and one things to be done around the house. I get things started while Julia's out doing the shopping. There are five big neighborhood markets within a couple of blocks of our house, and Julia spreads her shopping around, going where the prices are lowest and the quality best. With six miles to feed, food is a big item in our budget, and we have to make sure we get the most for our money. Every Saturday morning, Julia buys stuff for the entire week, so she takes her time and sees that everything she gets is fresh and good. vegetables and fruits she buys from one store, or meat from another. We're all big meat eaters in our family, even little Jackie. That means she has to make sure there's plenty to go around. Also on Saturday mornings, I usually take an hour or so to go over the accounts and bills, figuring out ways to double stretch that check of mine to pay them. I'll keep on the house and car, electricity, gas, and all the rest. As I started to unfold my check, all of a sudden I had an odd feeling about the date on it. It was exactly 13 years ago this week that I first went to work at the plant. 13 years. A lot of things had happened to me since that first week. It was that big day when I joined our auto workers union, the UAW, United Auto Workers. And not long after that, when the fellows in my department elected me shop steward, if the workers in our department had any grievances or complaints, they brought them to me and I'd take them up with the foreman. If the foreman felt he couldn't make a fair decision or settle the grievance, we went to a higher representative of management. to discuss the personal problems and troubles that come up among workers or between management and workers. The main thing is for the union and management to get together and settle things fair and square for everybody. job of getting acquainted with our new neighborhood, meeting our neighbors, 
making friends with the people we'd be living close to, probably for the rest of our lives. All of Julia's time and that of our children, and most of mine too, would be spent in this house of ours, on this street, living among and with these people. I got an inkling of the kind of neighbors we had the first time I tried to mow the lawn with that ancient broken down lawnmower of mine. The people next door, across the road, down the street, turned out to be friendly and helpful. The fact is, we weren't strangers very long. Those neighbors of ours, working people like myself, made us feel at home right off. It wasn't long before we were getting together for Saturday night card parties. A young married couple from across the street came over. another couple who lived two houses down. We found it a swell way to spend an evening. As a matter of fact, we still do. Neither Julia nor I have ever missed voting in any election. seldom miss church on Sunday mornings. The new home, the friendly neighbors, everything was fine, except that Jeannie ran into a little trouble at school. One night I came home and found her crying, and Julia was plenty upset. Jeannie had a note from her teacher that she'd have to do better in arithmetic or be put in a lower grade. I believe I felt even worse about things than Jeannie did. I thought maybe I could help her with her problems. On my job, I used blueprints, dealt with figures and numbers all the time. But it had been a good while back since I tackled high school math. I figured the best thing to do was for Julia to go down and have a talk with Jeannie's teacher. So one afternoon, she went to school. Julia got along okay. Julia talked about her own schooling and mine. Now we wanted our children to get even more education. It was a couple of weeks later that we got the good news. Jeannie was going right ahead with her class. No, those years weren't all smooth sailing by any means. I've had my share of the brakes, good and bad. All our machines have safety devices, but there was a time I got a little careless and had that accident. One of the fellows rushed me over to the plant infirmary. My hand could have been badly smashed. Luckily it wasn't. And on top of that, I got quick medical attention and the best. It was one experience that made me glad I was covered by workman's compensation and company insurance. It meant that no matter what the doc's verdict, Julia and the youngsters wouldn't have to worry about my being off the job. The x-ray showed several small bones were broken, and I was laid up for a couple of weeks. experiences wiped itself out when Joan came running into the house to tell me her mother wanted me to come outside and help carry in the groceries. I was right back in the present again. Bills? Yes. Six mouths to feed. Worries and troubles and problems, good times and bad times. The years have been full of them. 
are some things that make it all worthwhile and more. Changing the details a little, the way I live might be the way of any one of us at the factory, doing our best to make a decent life for ourselves and try and maybe to make it even a little better for our children. Eat television dinners, drink bolt liquor, and drive only Chevy. That's the American way. Where you can be a fucking Canadian refugee, fat piece of shit, driving a Ford like Reggie. Fuck you, Reggie. And motherfuck Ford. These are you and me in your Chevrolet. America's asking you to call. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. On a highway or a road along a levee. Life is completer in a Chevy. So make a date.